Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today I'm reviewing The Rock Roader from Ninjago, and it's ages 8 to 14, which, you know, no one cares about, and we all love to ignore that, and set number 70589, and there are 406 pieces, so, yeah, so... To start off with this review, I like to start with the mini figures. And first we got, I hope you can see him. Yeah, first we got Cool. Oh yeah, you probably did notice about my last video. Um, I got the wrong mask. But don't worry, um, I'll get the right mask eventually because um, I went to that this um, Lego service website and went and went to um, bricks and pieces and you could get the right mask when yeah I think it's getting um, shipped right now to my home so yeah but other than that I know it's kind of off because we've been seeing this mask but other than that it's really cool I love I really love this torso piece it's the best part of the minifigure I love this orange um magma fiend with the symbol that looks super good it looks really well detailed and it also of course it has these ropes and um yeah it has some more printing there but this is um this minifigure has arm printing which looks really cool it has his his orange arms and it has his um Tattoo. No, not really tattoo. I like to call it tattoo, but <laughs> it will be pretty funny it is. But no, of course, it's um his um magma um arm. And yeah, he has some some light printing, which um looks um decent. Um, yeah, just have some ropes and some squares. It looks fine. But one thing I have to complain about this minifigure, the back printing looks weak. Like, there's not any of, at all. It's just this rope. Um, I mean, his suit tied in the rope. So, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention um, his face. Looks really cool, with, especially with the scar. And yeah, he's got a different oppression. And also, he has these this cheesy happy face, <laughs> but I like it. But oh yeah, with the mask on, he almost looks like, huh? But <laughs> but <laughs> it's really funny. But um, yeah, that's all I have to say. It's a really neat figure, and it will be more neater once I get the right mask. So yeah. And next up, we have Lil Nelson. She looks so freaking cute. And, um, yeah, the big part of him is that he has a purple mask. And, actually, I, this is the first time that I'm getting this mold. Like, I didn't got any, um, 2011 sets. But, um, yeah. Got nice, um, printing over there. Trying to look like a ninja. It's purple, and also, he, of course, he has his small legs, I which I um really need um all the time, and I uh, or I mean I need more of them. But also, he has this um drawing that he sticks into his back. It's pretty neat and creative, and it's a chickmunk. Ha! Ah, it's gonna be a symbol someday. If he grows up, of course. And yeah, it's really cool. And little Nelson looks really cool. Oh, wait. And yeah, and all we need is a orange ninja. Like, would that be cool or no? Leave that in the comment some section below. And yeah. And next up, we got... Stone Warrior, and of course his lime green sword, elemental sword, Feeny. <laughs> um, let me get this bookish, and yeah, it looks really cool. I and we still and like since the beginning, um, we are still wondering what 
this Venus, but um, yeah, it looks really cool, especially with the diamond and the um, hilt, uh, I mean the bottom of the hilt, and also, yeah, it looks cooler. It looks really cool, and it's long, long and epic, and yeah. And also, um, the Stone Warrior, uh, if you could see it, yeah, the Stone Warrior um, looks great with this uh, shield fiend, which also was in the show. And yeah, it has this um, red and scorpion symbol. And yeah, and here's the Stone War himself. He got, uh, if you could see through um, his um, fiend, and um, oh yeah, he got this rice hat. Red rice hat, like the one ones in 2013, and also got this new head, new head print. Some it's more like a dark red. Wait, what's that color called? A red, um, a uh, type of red called. I, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting. I think it starts with an M, but I don't know. And also, he has this um armor in 20 uh 2013. And also, but he has um this nice printing, really nice printing, and I really do adore that. And um, yeah, with all the black and red. And also, here's a comparison with the um 2013 Stone Warrior and the um 20 um and the um, the Stone Warrior in this set. Yeah, I got one. And also, um, uh, no, sorry about the background, but, um, and also, um, yeah, they look, they both look cool, um, but I prefer the one in, um, this one. I don't know, they look, both look cool, like, I call it a tie, but, yeah. And also, um, we got the Stone Scout, and, uh. Sorry, focus, um, focus, focus, um, but, by the way, it has the same printing, oh, wait, speaking of which, um, oh, yeah, here's the printing in the back, and, um, okay, I hope you can see it, um, oh, yeah, it has the same printing as the other Stone War, and it has this bandana, and also the same, um, uh, uh, face and uh, got the rice hat and has these uh, burnout colors um, and also these short legs and yeah so that's all for the minifigures so now for the build or the stop like the design of the build it's actually a pretty nice build I I got this set for the features and I, I like this um buggy um uh shape um design and also yeah it looks really cool. Um I thought it would be awkward in the um front here but now that I think about it um it looks really cool.